Right, the future of film's past. I, I kind of think at the moment we are in a, well, we are in a moment where such possibility seems to exist and a kind of possibility that truly could not have happened in the past. Obviously, the digital age has arrived. We can make films available far more, far more easily. We have funding streams available to enable us to digitise that um, heritage. So there's one little stream through lottery fund stream called Unlocking Film Heritage. We all see 10,000 archive films suddenly made available um, for audiences across the UK, across the world over the next four years. That's transformative in terms of how people can access their past. The more and more material that is out there, the more and more people have opportunities obviously engaging with it. And also, certain lessons I've learned from the experience of putting film online, particularly through YouTube, through the BFI's own platforms, is that what we might, I don't know, a decade or so ago, have imagined being totally the territory of I mean, the archival geek, is suddenly the territory that everybody and anyone wants to engage with. I think there's also kind of huge opportunities and excitement in the world of possibility of what you can see that you couldn't see before. And although, you know, in the UK we have this remarkable film history, just in terms of feature films, we've probably made well over 8,000 films in the history of um, British feature filmmaking. Less than 1,000 of those are currently available on DVD. So, you know, there's 7,000 plus films for people largely to discover. And I think, again, we work in, we're now operating in a world where I think people are far more experimental than what they try out. You know, everything from the arrival of kind of event cinema to pop-up cinema, um, what people can access online, there is that real, real appetite for kind of finding the new, finding the different. I, I think audiences are often, I think, perceived as being very very conservative that is absolutely not my experience and the idea that you know new feature films all kinds of films coming about making being available for the first time in decades and decades anybody who loves film is just going to feel truly excited by that nature of discovery